Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to this class to determine the molecular formula from the empirical formula. In my previous video, I explained how to determine the empirical formula from the percentage composition. And in my previous video, I explained how to find out the percentage composition of the compounds. So, here in this video, we need to know that how to find the molecular formula if we once can get the empirical formula. And in my previous class, I showed the percentage composition. And if you can remember that according to this percentage composition, if we get that we will have the empirical formula is empirical formula, empirical formula is uh, actually CH2O according to these percentage compositions. So in my previous video, I already explained it. So I'm just uh, taking it as an example. So this is the empirical formula. And now I need to find out the molecular formula. Though you know that in some compounds, the molecular formula and the empirical formula are same. Like what? Like CO2, like H2O, like N. H3, like CH4, like SO2, SO3. I mean, these are the known compounds where you see the, the, the ratios of the number of atoms of these elements almost similar. And that is why even H2SO4, H2SO4, even HNO3, even H2CO3, there are a number of compounds where the empirical formula and the molecular formula will be same. But in some cases, here you see the empirical formula and the molecular formula are not same. Why? You need to know that when you will be determining that the molecular formula from the empirical formula one single data should be at your side that is the molecular mass of that compounds so if the molecular mass is not given then you cannot find the molecular uh, formula of that compounds because you don't know the exact ratio of the atoms or exact ratio of atoms of elements like how you see the empirical formula CH2O when you have the empirical formula then think the molecular formula molecular formula would be CH2ON and this N we need to find it out how because we need to find it out as because this N is equal to what is this is equal to a molecular molecular mass of the compounds divided by empirical formula mass empirical formula mass how to it i'm just coming in later on but you see that it's the molecular formula whenever you get the empirical formula just break it down to n to find it out the molecular formula now you see this 180 is the molecular mass is given Wherever the percentage is given, also the molecular mass should be given. Now you think, CH2O N is equal to 180. So now we need to find it out, the value of N. Let's see, in this case, we know that molecular mass of carbon is 12 plus 2 plus 16. Now find it out. The together, it is actually 30 n equal 180 now the value of n is 180 by 30 is 6 so you got 6 so as we have the empirical formula ch2o we got the molecular formula n is a value of 6 so the molecular formula is c now it would be 6 it would be 12 and then it would be 6 so it is actually glucose it is actually glucose so from this percentage composition i hope that you can find out the empirical formula this one and then this class is about from this we need to determine this one that is the molecular formula of these compounds according to the percentage composition given so i hope you understand 
and now if I go to the next options, I mean next uh, examples here is given. So I need to put it down. Okay. Next option in this percentage, can you do it? The the more empirical formula. What would be the empirical formula if this percentage is given? Actually, I did it in the last class, so it should be like H. NO3. This is the empirical formula HNO3. And now I need to find out the molecular formula so I know this should be like that M. And the molecular mass 63 is given. So now you think this HNO3 N is equal 63. And now you think about the molecular mass of this hydrogen 1, nitrogen 40, oxygen 16 times 3, N equals 63. And now you see it's altogether 63, N equals 63. So you get N equal 1. It means when N equal 1, it means the empirical formula is equivalent to the molecular formula. So it is 1. So, the molecular formula is actually HNO3, which is nitric acid. So, very simply, I'm just making it this class shortly, as because in my previous class, I was very elaborative to find out the empirical formula from the percentage composition. And now, once you have the percentage composition, you can have the molecular formula also just finding the value of n when you find the value of n then you just put it down one thing is important also in some cases uh, in your question paper you can have an experience that having uh, the vapor density suppose percentage composition is given and also the vapor density of the compounds is given like in this case vapor density is given 90 why because i know and of course you also know that the vapor density is if the vapor density is expressed as d i have to multiply by 2 to find that out the molecular mass so simply i'm just giving you one simple hint that if in your question paper you got that vapor density is given you just multiply by 2 and then you got the molecular mass and then you will use it here otherwise you should not use the vapor density directly here then your n would be half so definitely when vapor density will be given you will just multiply by 2 and then you will get the molecular mass and then you can solve your problems so i hope you understand very shortly how to get the molecular formula from the empirical formula so i'm coming up with the next video with the chemical reactions and balancing the chemical reactions as because it's the part of this chapter so take care stay well stay blessed bye